Hey, Mike here. I've been building out the Obsidian LLM testing suite, and so far I have created an answer sheet with the correct answers, not only generated by myself, but also by GPT-4, because I wanted to see, of course, what the state-of-the-art LLM can produce. I've also added a lot of Obsidian-specific queries. It's a total of 10 questions here. And yeah, it's pretty simple. You have an answer sheet and a test sheet. I made sure to mention that, uh, you know, you need to have a decent computer here. Nothing insanely expensive. I think M1 MacBooks go for, I don't know, like a thousand maybe. Not to mention there are some of you that undoubtedly have GPU rigs, so this doesn't really pertain to you in the first place. Then you have two refresher videos on how to get set up here correctly, and then we have the testing steps. So let me show you how this works and how you would go about this first. So I have the repo right here in my vault. The first thing I'm going to do is create a copy of this, and let's name it LLM test for Beagle 7B. And of course, for the next steps, the first thing you're going to do is load up your model. We are testing Beagle 14, and once it's loaded up, you're going to start the server. Make sure that everything is set to on. You are using a port that is unused by any other program. And for the most part, you're going to want to use the chat ML preset, especially if you're using any type of dolphin model. And yeah, I've found that chat ML works perfectly for the Beagle LLM. And next, what you're going to do is hop into the test that you have set for the model that you're testing. Put your cursor after the first question and answer pair, the one that's unanswered, of course. Select everything else past that and just cut it so that the only question is the one that doesn't have an answer to it yet. And after that, you're just going to go into your command palette, type in text or I'm sorry, generate the text. Or of course, if you have a hotkey set like I do, you're just going to hit your hotkey and it should start processing and generating the text. And there we have the answer. So now what we do is just paste the remainder of the test and we just do the next question and so on and so forth. So again, we go back here. We I'm gonna hit the hotkey this time and it's going to generate the answer for the question, what is the boiling point of water at sea level? And as you can see, it's generating the answer in real time. This is all, of course, with the local Beagle 7B LLM, and it should stop on its own here. And yeah, it's stopped on its own. So for the rest of the night tonight, I am going to be going through most of these models and I will be posting the results tomorrow. We will score and see which one performs the best. And I will also look into any new models that have come into the ring these past few days. Thank you so much for watching. A special thank you to all of the System Sculpt supporters you see on screen right now. Let me know any questions, comments, or concerns in the comments below, and I will see you again tomorrow.